Let's do it. Hey, forget about it. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today I have a fantastic product for you. Synology DS418 NAS. Right here, we're going to do an unboxing of this bad boy. And we're going to equip it with four Samsung Pro 860 drives. Now you're probably wondering, why are you using... Samsung Pro instead of Evo because this is for a client and business and while the um, the Pro uses 2-bit MLC the Evo uses 3-bit MLC I'm not, I'm not gonna go into detail on why I'm using one for the other just that I'll actually I go a little detailed the uh, A60 Pro has a higher mean time between failure and it's, uh, I prefer using a professional grade, you know, versus consumer grade solid state drive for a NAS. And these are small, they're only 512 gig per drive. The client does not require large storage, but they do need a NAS. And I don't, and I, well, I didn't want to go any higher than the necessary space that they need because they're never going to hit past one and a half terabytes because this is a four bay NAS and we're going to do a RAID 5 configuration and I actually have five drives okay five drives and one is a spare God forbid one takes a dive a couple of years from now which I doubt but if it does I'll already have one ready for replacement so that is the reason why we did five instead of four so anyway, without further ado, let's get this bad boy open and take a look how how gorgeous this thing is. We're going to show you, we're going to do some uh, benchmark tests and stuff. But believe it or not, remember, it's a NAS. So we are limited to the throughput of the network device. So it doesn't matter if the drives are super fast because it'll be throttled down based on the network connectivity. So a lot of people are not aware of that. And I just want to make, make you aware of that. All right, so it comes with a power cable, box on the top with some, I'm sure, other things. We'll check that out in a second. And, ooh, pretty. Look at that. And it has two network ports on the back and power. This is truly a NAS. So let me see, does it have USB? Yes, it has one USB port, probably for a backup drive. So if you wanted to plug in another drive to this and you want to back up whatever is on here to another drive, you could do that. They do make a DAS, a disk attached storage that can connect via USB. So on top of this NAS, you can have a DAS that's connected to this that does a backup that is also RAID 5 con con configuration. Just a suggestion, instead of buying a, one of those Seagates and plug it in the back and then you're backing up that in a single disk, that could fail before this. So, so it on it, uh, typical drive. Some of them they actually come from the top and they go down. This one goes from the bottom and moves up. And it already has the screw holes for two and a half inch as well as three and a half inch. The sides have to be popped off and then you put the screws in. But uh, and they're plastic, so it's nice and light. This doesn't weigh anything. And it doesn't, it's not going to weigh anything even after the fact. So, so we, did, we did have the power cable here, but it looks like it uses a power supply, external power supply, which is here. So here is the power brick for the Synology. And this does 12 volts, holy crap, 7 and a half amps at 12 volts. So that's 90 watts of power right here. That's a lot. That's capability, so depending on what kind of drives you're sticking here, we'll have plenty of horsepower power from here to supply the drives that are in there. But since they're solid state, they're going to barely draw maybe a 1 watt, 2 watts a piece. Comes with uh, two network cables, short, like 5 feet approximately, 5 feet each. Um, which is a nice feature about this Synology is that we can pair, we can mux the two network K, uh, ports together. So we can make a two gigabit up and two gigabit down 
for to a full duplex, making it four gigabits a second capability, which would be great. So this will go a heck of a lot faster than the typical network, which is great. So let's get to it. Let's check out the the, uh, the firmware. Let's set this bad boy up. Let's do it now. What the hell? Let's do it. Hey, forget about it. I want to show you the packages that you can install on this bad boy. The uh, the the it's unlimited. You can do pretty much anything you want with this bad boy. You can set it up as a mail station. You can set it up. You can set it up as an LDAP server. You can set it up as an iTunes server, a DNS server, download station, audio station. Any, I just can't believe how many freaking apps you can have on here. Even a web server. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Universal search. Well, this is already installed. A couple of things you can see that are already installed on here already that I've done. Because this is going to be a file station. That's the purpose of it. That's the only purpose of it. Nothing else. Um, so before we go, let's before we go. You know what? Let's get in. Let let's get into the performance of this bad boy. Remember, it's limited to a gigabit, and that is all. That's all it could do. So let's go check it out now. So I want to show you a, a feature of this, which is freaking sick. And I think it's something that deserves to be uh, looked looked at because this is one of the features that I don't think anybody has ever focused on in, until now. So this, they offer the ability to actually dim down the LED lighting. So if you want it to be off, even though the machine is on, it doesn't look like it's on, and you can have the LED's lights off. So, or even dim, for that matter. If you want to have them dim, it'll be dim. Just enough to see it. If you, or you want it to be slightly brighter or full brightness. But the cool part about this is that you can set a schedule. Let's say this bad boy is in your bedroom and it's shining directly at your face. And it's annoying because the blue lights that tend to be, for some reason, brighter than normal. And they're freaking annoying. So now you can set a schedule. Okay, when I'm in bed, shut the freaking lights off. When I'm up and about, turn them back on again. And you can set the schedule right here. How cool is that? That's amazing. I love it. That's a that's a great, great option. That this they went above and beyond features of this device. Good job, Synology. That's you did a great job in focusing on something like this. This is pretty sick. Great job. We want to go local to the to the NAS. So we want to do uh, slash slash. The IP address. And these are the, the shares that I have created. We're going to go to one that I did not set anything to. And then we're going to go to, uh, let's go to here. Let's go, actually, no, let's go to here. Let's go to videos. So let's grab a single, this is the IP Vantage video that I just did. want to copy this and paste that in here. That's how fast it is. Holy crap. 113 megs a second. Bang, it's done. I just did this one today. Gaming headset, you know, the V22 thing. Let's see how fast that goes. 113, pegged. Look at that. That is booking. So if you have gigabit Ethernet in your, like, the Internet is gigabit, that's how fast it would be for downloading. That's ridiculously quick. All right, so let's uh, delete these two. That's crazy. So let's do something crazy. Let's add, let's copy all six, four, five, six videos. Let's paste it. How big is it? List over five gig. 45 seconds. 45 seconds to copy four, five gig of data. Holy crap. That's insane. This definitely gets to Joe Tech Tips and it's an awesome rating, and I'm glad I gave it. This is unbelievable. Actually, unbelievable. Setting up folders and stuff like that is pretty simple, straightforward. I've already created a bunch of user accounts, a bunch of folders, assign users to folders, just in case LDAP does not function. It's just a backup plan. But you don't have to have LDAP. I'm using LDAP because of we have a domain, and I didn't want to have to set up separate user accounts. But I did set up some basic user accounts just in case. Look at that. Look how fast that was. And each particular share does have a recycle bin. So, um, and only the administrator can actually uh, delete it. So they will not see this recycle bin. Just in case they delete files on the server, 
I'll have the ability to actually recover them, which is a home run. So that is amazing. Unbelievably quick. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.